slide 1 This lecture will cover the density operator in quantum mechanics. We will look at the solution to several short problems, during which you may need to pause the video to review the solution. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. Again, if you have questions or notice that something is incorrect, please enter the comment. It is presumed that you have a basic understanding of the bracket notation. Slide to the density matrix formalism was introduced by John von Neumann in order to extend the tools of classical statistical mechanics to quantum mechanics. John von Neumann was a Hungarian-American mathematical physicist and computer scientist. Incidentally, the density matrix was also independently discovered by Soviet theoretical physicist Lev Landau. The density matrix is used when one is uncertain of which states are being manipulated, so that there is a mixture of states of different probabilities. This is referred to as a mixed state. The density matrix approach is also used in entangled states where the state of two or more particles have states which are correlated. The density matrix formalism is similar to the phase space probability measure used in statistical mechanics. The phase space probability measure represents the statistical distribution of position and momentum for a particle. The density matrix will be represented by the symbol rho or rho hat in this presentation as in the convention. Slide 3 A mixed state is a statistical ensemble of multiple quantum states. A mixed state can be described by a density matrix. The density matrix represents the density operator, which we denote I rho hat. A mixed state should be contrasted with a pure state which is represented by a single state vector which we denote psi. Slide 4 say that we have two state vectors psi1 and psi2. There could be a 60% probability that the system is in state psi1 and a 40% chance that it is in state psi2. This is not the same as pure state that is represented as a quantum superposition of states psi1 and psi2. It is seen that the density operator, which represents a mixed state, is the probability of a certain state multiplied by that state is seen in the expression. Note that psi sub i are the elements of a complete, orthogonal basis. The coefficients phi are non-negative and add up to 1. Therefore, this is a statistical mixture of pure state psi i. With the given representation of the density operator, a couple of things are apparent. The density operator is Hermitian and the trace of the density matrix is equal to 1. This implies that the probabilities of the various states must sum to 1. Slide 5 In a closed system, the mixed state may represent a single system with uncertain preparation history or an ensemble of systems with pi in the state psi i. The pure ensemble is an ensemble in which every copy of the system is in the same state. It is described by a pure state. If all particles are in state psi m, then the density operator is given as follows. Because the density operator of a pure ensemble is a projection of a pure state, it is idempotent. That is to say, it is equal to its square. Slide 6 If the system is not closed, then there is no definite state vector. Slide 7 We saw that a pure ensemble could be represented by a pure state and that the density operator for a pure state is idempotent. The density operator has several other properties for a pure state. The trace of the square of the density matrix is 1. Also, the off-diagonal elements of the density matrix will be non-zero. The square of a mixed state has a trace less than 1, and the off-diagonal elements of its density matrix will be zero. Slide 8 Pure states exhibit coherence. The system is coherent when a definite phase relationship exists between different states. Particles are then able to interfere. Coherence is represented by the non-zero off-diagonal terms in the density matrix. If we write out the density operator we see the phase difference data i minus data j which represents coherence in the odd diagonal terms. Slide 9. Please pause the presentation in order to further review the problem if needed. The three-dimensional quantum system can be represented in two orthonormal bases, psi1, psi2, psi3, and p1, p2, p3. The relation between the bases is given. If the system is in the pure state p1, Find the density operator in the basis Pi and the density matrix. And if an ensemble is in the given state row A, find the probability of P1 and the density matrix. The relation between the bases is given. Slide 10 An outline of the solution process is shown. We have to form the outer product in order to find the density operator. This yields an expression whose coefficients can be used directly in the density matrix. The result of the computation for the probability in the mixed state is shown. 
the symbolic representation of the density matrix is also shown. It is seen that the first term in the row 1 column 1 was already calculated in the probability of phi 1. Fall off diagonal terms should be 0 in this matrix. Try computing this matrix for yourself. Please pause the presentation if you need time to review the solution process. Slide 11 Please pause the video in order to further review the problem if needed. In the two-dimensional vector space with a given basis, we have two quantum states A and B which we use to prepare an ensemble. 60% are prepared in state A and 40% are prepared in state B. We must find the density operator in both outer product notation and as a matrix. We must then determine the probability that a particle drawn from the ensemble will be in state 0 or state 1. Slide 12 We calculate the density operator for the pure states A and B which will allow us to calculate the density operator for the ensemble. Please pause the video to further review this part of the solution if needed. Slide 13 This allows us to calculate the density matrix and probabilities. Please pause the presentation for review if needed. Slide 14 We saw that for an ensemble in a mixed state where each state psi i occurs with probability pi, the density operator is given as shown. We represent the physical observable A by the operator a hat. It can be shown that its expectation value on the mixed state row is given by the trace of a hat on row. Slide 15 Let us represent the measurement result lambda m by the projection operator pm. The probability of obtaining lambda m is given as the trace of the density operator and projection operator. Slide 16 Additionally, if A has a spectral resolution as shown, then the post-measurement density operator rho prime can be written as follows. Here lambda i is the i f5 n value. Slide 17 Please pause the video for further time to review the problem. A density matrix is given. We must show that the system is in the mixed state and find the expectation value of the Pauli matrices. In this problem, we have omitted the use of the caret for the density operator. Slide 18 To determine if the system is a mixed state, we must find whether the trace of the square of the density matrix is less than or equal to 1. Because it is less than 1, the system is in the mixed state. The Pauli matrix sigma x is shown. The expectation value is computed with the trace of the matrix and the density operator. Pause the video for more time to review the answer. Slide 19 The same process is used to find the expectation value for the other two poly matrices, sigma y and sigma z. Please pause the video for further time to review the answer. Slide 20 The one Neumann entropy S is an extension of the concept of Gibbs entropy to quantum mechanics. It is also used in quantum information theory where it can be used as a measure of information content. The higher entropy would correspond to less information. It can be expressed either in terms of the eigenvalues of the density matrix or the trace and natural logarithm of the density matrix as follows. Note that some use a base to logarithm instead of the natural logarithm as we do here. We have also omitted the caret over row. Slide 21 Please pause the video for further time to review the problem. We omit the use of the caret for the density operator, and use only rho. A density matrix is given. Slide 22 To find its one Neumann entropy, we calculate the eigenvalues and place them in the formula. Please pause the video for further time to review the